This is a review of tonight's two shows. It was two great shows. Um, there was uh, Night Callers with Winona Alexis as the guest. Uh, she is originally from... Uh, where is she? She's originally from uh, South Dakota or North Dakota. I think South Dakota. And uh, she was raised in Virginia. And she now lives in Alberta, Canada. She actually, uh, she lives in Alberta, Canada now. And, uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that background noise. <clears throat> but she lives in Alberta, Canada now. And she's heard some very interesting things from, uh, the na from the natives that she lives with up there. The, uh, the, the Native American, or excuse me, the First Nations, the Canadian Indians, that, um, now she's actually had a sighting of a of a of a of what she of what she believed was a baby Sasquatch walking across the road in front of her, and she's had several other uh, encounters in her yard with what she believes is Sasquatches, and um, she has she 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 has many she and her the tribe that she is with has many beliefs about the Sasquatch. Uh, Many of the same beliefs that are shared by a lot of the, tr the, the the tribes. I didn't really, I didn't hear if she said, uh, I, I didn't hear if she said anything about if you look at upon a Sasquatch that it'll give you bad luck and you might die. There are some tribes that believe that if you if you if you look upon a Sasquatch or if you look a Sasquatch in the eyes, you'll die immediately after that or you'll have bad luck. Um, that's also a belief shared by the Nepalese in, uh, in the Himalayas. So, um, that's, that's always interesting. It's always interesting to hear something, to hear things, hear things like that. Uh, anyway, uh, Footers was about, there's a new species of crawfish that has been discovered in Tennessee of all places. Uh, or, or as we call them, mud bugs, crawdads, crawfish, crayfish, whatever you call them. A new species has been found in uh, Tennessee just recently. So uh, that was the footers segment. Um, and then I called in during the second hour and announced about the, uh, the upcoming uh, special that's going to be on this upcoming Wednesday on History Channel. Um, and what else did we talk about? I, I asked Winona, um, I'm trying to remember what I asked her. I asked her, um, what she thought of, um, I'm trying to think what I asked her when I called in. I, I did ask her a couple of questions. I think one of them was about, um, oh, the Snellgrove Lake, the Snellgrove Lake uh, thing. If she heard of any reports from that area. And I wrongly assumed that she was in the, uh, she was in the province of, of Ontario, but no, she is actually in the province of Alberta. So she said she hadn't heard she said that she hadn't heard of anything up in that area. I'm trying to remember what else I asked her. I get that sometimes, and I forget things a lot of the time. But um, anyway, and I, I also um, wished uh, Luke and. Um, Anthony, Anthony Yawn's birthday is today. Luke and Winona have a birthday tomorrow, so I wish them both a happy birthday. Um, that was a pretty great show uh, that was on tonight with, with Winona, Alexis. It was pretty great. Um, next week, Night Callers is going to take a week off for the Super Bowl. But they will be back the following week uh, with two guests. Mike Johnson, I can't remember what the other guest's name is, but uh, they researched the Bigfoot or Sasquatch in Colorado. They researched Bigfoot in Colorado. So, um, that should be a fascinating show. 7 Eastern, 6 Central. 
www.blogtalkradio.com slash nightcallers. And then over on Bigfoot Tonight, over on Bigfoot Tonight, um, they had a pretty great show with Stan Courtney. Stan Courtney was the guest, and um, he talked about some of the audio recordings some of the audio recordings that he um, has made uh, in his area. He they played one which sounded like a poor imitation of a coyote, uh, and there was another one. There was another one they played where um, it sounded like a whisper, which it sounded like something whispering. And nobody was near the microphone at that time, so I thought I found that to be interesting. Um, as Stan said, there was nobody near nobody near the near the recorder, um, so I thought I found that to be interesting. Um, and then I called in and um, I asked Stan um, if he'd ever heard in person. If he'd ever heard in person anything about, um, or in person, anything that resembled the Sierra sounds. And I'm referring to Bigfoot Recordings Volume 2, um, where the, the samurai chatter. And he said he had not heard that in person. Um, I told him, yes, I'd heard that. I had heard um, something similar to it in person myself in North Carolina and around here. So, uh, it was quite interesting. It was an interesting show, and it's always great to hear from Stan. Uh, he's got a great website, stancourtney.com. He's got all kinds of interesting sound recordings and things like that. It's just, just, just amazing, uh, the stuff that he's um, recorded. Anyway, um, actually, uh, Bigfoot Tonight is not taking next week off for the Super Bowl. They will be back next week, and they're going to have... Mike Rugg from the uh, Center for, or excuse me, from the Bigfoot Discovery Museum and the Bigfoot Discovery Project. He's going to be the guest next week at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blawtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot tonight. <coughs> excuse me. And then tomorrow night on MNBRT Radio, our good friends Abe and Evie and Abe, if you see this, bro, I, I, I think if, if I'm not... I, if, I, if I'm not misunderstanding, I think you're supposed to be going in for that open heart surgery this week. I'll be saying prayers for you, my friend. I'll be saying prayers for you, bro. Uh, and, and I hope all goes well. I'll be saying prayers for you, bro. Um, I may be misunderstanding. You can correct me, of course. You can just put a comment below. Um... And, um, anyway, Mike and, or excuse me, Abe and Evie are going to have, uh, Mike Assorti and Diana Smith from the Believe It Tour, and also from BigfootSurplus.com on the show tomorrow night, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash MNBRT, should be a great show. And then this upcoming Thursday on, uh, TCSJR Bigfoot Radio, uh, Tim and Josh are going to be welcoming Bill Lee, who is a longtime associate of Robert W. Morgan, to their show. Um, I've heard I heard Bill on Let's Talk Bigfoot a few years ago, and he's got a real deep voice. He's got he's got a great radio voice, very somewhat similar to uh, Rick Dees or maybe um, Shadow Stevens. His voice is very similar. His his speaking voice and his radio voice is very similar. He's got a great radio voice. Uh, anyway, he's going to be the guest on um, TCSJR Bigfoot Radio this Thursday, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash TCSJR Bigfoot Radio. And of course, I mean, let's not forget about the um, the upcoming special that's going to be on the, the History Channel this Wednesday night, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, called Bigfoot the Definitive Guide. And um, it'll be airing as I said, this Wednesday night uh, on the History Channel, so check your local listings for time and channel. And for all our Blog Talk Radio friends out there, as always, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research. <laughs>